Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create water drops in Maya that you can use for your beverage renders. I will be using an old Mel script that needs to be updated but still works in Maya 2022. The image you see in the screen is a final result, just a quick setup, you can tweak the settings of the water drops and condensation and get even better results. So here in Maya I'm going to show you the initial setup, which has the geometry with the bottle and the inside liquid, a sky dome light with an HDRI and a shot camera. Now let's check out the script we'll be using in this tutorial, which is the water drops mail script by Mariano Antico but as you can see is from 2011 and it's not been updated since then. We need to test it out in Maya 2022 to see how it behaves. The first step is to duplicate the bottle geometry to act as an emitter. Opening the script editor and loading the downloaded mail script. So if we run the script, it's loading the UI without any problems. But as soon as we try to create some water drops, it gives us an error related to the end particle menu. I believe it has changed the name over the years and we need to update a small part of the script. Luckily, if we Google it, there will be a copy and paste solution for this. As you can see in this comment, you just need to replace this part of the code in the script. Use your preferred code editor, I am using Sublime Text, and just replace the old end particle menu code lines with the updated one. Do it for all the instances along the script. Then just save it in the scripts folder. Now in Maya, load in the updated scripts. And as you can see, it seems to be working fine. Although I have experienced some bugs while working with this particular script, since it's from 2011. Let's start over and this time create around 20 drops and set the goal U with values between 0.2 and 0.8 so it doesn't create drops in the back of the bottle. You may want to experiment with the values. The next step is to create the sweat, just select the bottle emitter geometry adjust the number of particles and click on create sweat. After it you can update things like particle size and other attributes. You will need to press the enter button in your numpad to update. Now for the next effect we will need to select the driver and particles and there's a convenient button for that, then just create drops. Again, you can experiment with the settings, I am just showing you the basic setup. Now we will need to mesh these particles so we can render them in Arnold. For that, open the attribute editor select the water drops and particles and go to modify, convert and particles to polygons. Now adjust the settings in the output mesh tab, mainly the threshold and the mesh triangle size. Just do the same for the sweat particles, you will have to experiment with the output mesh attributes to get the desired result. Now if you want to render an animation, keep the history, but since I am going to render a still frame, 
I am duplicating the output mesh, deleting the history and remove all of the nodes created so far from the simulation. And this is the resulting mesh we have. I am just going to walk you through the shading setup by importing the final shaders and showing you the settings. So let me import the shader for the liquid and as you can see by the settings it's a basic transmissive material with an orange color and some depth. Importing the bottle material which consists of a layered shader with a tinted glass material and a label on top. I also added a roughness map to add some variation to the bottle shader. There's this Arnold thing called dielectric priority to properly render liquid and glass mostly. So in this case I have set dielectric priority to 2 in the bottle shader and 1 in the liquid. For the water drops we will set it to 3. At least that's how it's described in the Arnold docs and seems to be working fine so far. Finally, importing the cap shader, which has a ramp with two colors, metalness set to 1 and specular roughness to around 0.2. We just need to create some quick UVs to properly render the ramp on the mesh. Let's unhide the water drops and assign a basic water shader. This time we set the dielectric priority to 3. So if we do a render there is a drop covering the label so I am just going to remove it. There's nothing stopping you from transforming the water drops geometry. In this case it would even benefit from scaling down the sweat drops since I think they are a bit on a bigger size. But let's move on. Since I am using the optics denoiser I don't need to increase too much the AA samples. For the final render I am going to set it to 4 and make sure under the ray depth you have enough transmission depth and also increase the specular to around 3. Let's do a render and see what we get. Ok, this is the final result, you might want to experiment a bit more to get better results, but this will do for now. I hope you have learned something new in this video, if so let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.